Hey you, it's Elle. I hope y'all are having a good day. Um, well, here's what's going on in my neck of the woods. It's Sunday, it's raining of course, because when I go to film a video, y'all know the drill. I had to turn on the lights back there to make it look like it's not dark as crap when it's only four or five o'clock in the afternoon. I don't know, let's see, let's find out. Six, oh, not even close. All right, <laughs> so I got a big old pot of chili cooking because it's nice and cool and rainy outside. And I've got a bunch of beauty products to talk to y'all about. Now, um, last month I did a haul and I asked y'all what you wanted to see reviews on. So out of all of the items, these are the ones that y'all are interested in. So I'm going to pick the first name that I see to give them a shout out as to the products y'all wanted to review on. And I'm going to give you a little mini review and some stuff I forgot got to put in the box so I'm going to insert a picture here we go so I got my phone out here we go Tanya says I want to hear your thoughts on the Tarte concealer and this one I really really like but it is so thick so it's great on hiding those things that you want to I kind of think I would do a different color if I had to purchase this again but very thick I really like it Kiki said she wanted to see a review on the wet n wild Fergie velvet lip crayons I love these. I love these I would absolutely buy more of them Nikki wanted to know my thoughts on the Alterna CC cream this is like the caviar CC cream for your hair and this is just a 10 in 1 perfecter and I could totally use some now because it is so frizzy because of the weather it's like frizzy I posted a pic on snapchat to prove my frizziness but anyway I really love this it is pricey but it's it's absolutely worth the hype. Beauty and Bliss 67, that's Hope, as well as Kimberly from I Have a Degree in This. They both asked about the Barely Sheer. These are ridiculous, and I was even sent some. I bought these, but um, I was even sent some, and I was like, I just can't do it. I have the worst luck with airbrush foundation. Y'all might remember a few videos. I tried the one from the uh, Sally Hansen airbrush, which I haven't heard that many people talk about it. Maybe because it's just quietly faded away. I don't know. Some of y'all said I need to try the Sephora one. I almost did, but, um, and I tried it. Y'all know me a bunch of different ways. I tried spraying it on, but this one is for, um, this is in shade two. This is by Barely Sheer. This is a body blemish cover. So this is the only one I could actually see some pigment out of when I sprayed it. And then this is the spray on foundation. And I couldn't really tell that anything was on there. I felt like I was just spraying my face with air. And I have a couple of airbrush machines machines and I know how airbrush is supposed to work but this was awful it's just it's just hairspray I don't know like see I'm spraying it it does say barely but I'm spraying it on like you can't even can't tell anything but they do make great castanets Becca Dore and I think everybody asked about the Too Faced foundation. This is called uh, Born This Way and this really is a love it or hate it. And I'm probably going to be the only one that's kind of like, well, okay, so straight up, I have super dry skin and this is an oil-free foundation. Those two things don't mix. So if I just put this on as is, it accentuates all of the pores and the fine lines and the things that come with being my age and I don't like it. But if I wear a primer with it, I do like it and I think it looks really good on film and it's what I have on today. Excuse me while I get all comfortable. It's Sunday. I got on a big old sweater from American Eagle, some leggings. It's, it's comfy Sunday. You know how it is. And um, I've tried this with a bunch of different foundations. This is in light beige, by the way, but yeah. Okay, so I do like it. I don't think I would repurchase it one because it's not my favorite foundation of all time, but am I going to return it? No, I'm absolutely going to use it up. Like I said, I like it on camera, but in person, without that primer, it can absolutely accentuate those fine lines. If you have normal skin, if you have combo skin, definitely give it a shot. And by give it a shot, I mean go get a sample. Go to Sephora, ask them for a sample, so that way you can see how it works for you. It didn't break me out. I didn't have any issues with that just born this way it kind of enhanced the things I don't want it to enhance who's next on my phone cut edit that out Ashley Sue asked about the Smashbox primer water there it is turned around the right way now y'all I think I have a pretty good dupe for this that I make myself so 
That being said, I would not repurchase this, but I see the big appeal of it because it is silicone free, oil free, and alcohol free, which makes it great for skin. So I understand why people would like it for that. Um, because I do have dry skin, I didn't think it was you know just life changing, gotta purchase it. But another one I think you should get a sample of if you have oily skin, I think you would really like this. Emma Beauty Addict wanted to know about the Rimmel Lift Me Up up mascara by Wonderlash. Wonderlash. Okay. Sorry, I'm like all over the place. This one has the unique hourglass shaped wand and I thought this was okay. It didn't get crunchy on me. It didn't get clumpy. It gave me really natural lashes, but I tend to want super dramatic lashes. I actually have on uh, Maybelline today, which that's on the blog, but Anyway, I, um, I like this. I don't think I would repurchase it, but if I was going for a really natural look, I would recommend it for me. For you, you might be like, girl, that's natural. That's like over the top, but I, I like it. No complaints, just not for me, but it might be for you. Pamela from Sequins and Sea Breezes wanted to know about the Maybelline Baby Skin. So this is an instant cheek flush. It opens like this. I love Maybelline products. I love the um, Baby Skin line and they have just the cutest packaging ever. So this is essentially a cream blush. So you rub it on like this, pretend it's your cheeks, you know, and then you go to blend it out. You can see the pigmentation there. And this is in shade Pinking of You. And then you go to blend it out and well, honey, it just disappears. So this I was very, very disappointed with. And out of all of the drugstore cream blushes, this is probably the, my least favorite one that I've tried. And they have other cream blushes, but this one, I did not like it at all. Shannon Jenkins asked about the manicure set. This was the gel one that I got from Sephora. I loved it. it. I got the little set that came with like a little bit of everything. So you could do, put the gel coat on top of your polishes. You could do like a slight beige, a little pink. If you're going for a natural nail and you just want something that's very pretty to last, go get it. Denise, thank you Denise from Denise's Planet. She's always commenting on my posts. She wanted to know about the Victoria Beckham and Olivia Palermo polishes. Loved them, thought they were great. Nobody asked specifically about this one, but I wanted to throw it in there. I think people just didn't read the post, but this is a Dove Dry Spray Antiperspirant. A lot of y'all thought it was dry shampoo. It's not. This one is supposed to last 48 hours. It didn't, but I think if you were in a pinch and you wanted something to keep around, you know, this, I wouldn't purchase it again, but I definitely did not get 48 hours out of it. Rebecca Joe asked about the Sugar Crush, and I love this brand. I love the packaging. It is so pink and so cute. I like the Sugar Crush, the Sugar Scrub, but the body wash I loved so much more because it has more of a key lime pie, so a bit more of a sweeter lime to it. I would absolutely repurchase that. I probably wouldn't repurchase the Sugar Scrub just because I make my own. Well, there are lots and lots and lots of recipes on the blog if you're interested in doing that yourself but I did like it. Carrie from at till then smile often I don't know if she watches my videos but I want to give her a shout out hey girl she wanted to know about the Rimmel brow gel and she said that she just got it so I want to hear what you think about it but for me I felt that the brush was a bit too big I don't have small brows but I don't have like you know huge ones either and I just felt like it was really really cumbersome and hard to work with. Kimberly from I have a degree in this wanted to know about the wipes. I so far just haven't noticed anything spectacular about them and I've used them you know like a month so so, so far I wouldn't repurchase those. So I think that's everything. I think that's all the reviews. I'm going to go check on the chili and go see what Charlie's up to since he won't come in here while I'm filming. I wonder why that is. He's still traumatized from the last video. Let me know what you thought if you've tried any of those below. Did you think they're totally spectacular on something that I didn't? Did you have the opposite reaction? And have a great day. Be safe. Behave. Be well. Love you